Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Kelly. I know we have a lot of chocolate lovers out there, but tonight we're gonna do lemon. I know a lot of people love lemon, and I am Italian, and I am part of an Italian Facebook group, and sometimes recipes come through my posts, and this one came through. It's fairly recent. I think I've only had this recipe for a year. It is a lemon ricotta Italian cookie, and I'll post the recipe in the link for you. And it is really easy and really delicious. So if you like lemon, this one's for you. So we're gonna start with the wet ingredients first. It is one third cup of butter at room temperature, two thirds cup of sugar, half a cup of whole ricotta, one egg and the zest of one lemon. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to cream the butter and the sugar. So we're gonna get all of the sugar in there. Sorry, all of the butter in there. And I love this Nick mixer. Nick bought this for me a couple of years ago for Christmas, and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna put that in here, sugar and butter. And we are gonna mix this until it is fully combined. Okay, the sugar and cream, uh, butter is nicely mixed, and now we are going to add half a cup of the ricotta, this is whole ricotta, and I'm not a big ricotta fan even though I am Italian, I know some people love it. My husband loves cannolis, which are filled with ricotta. All right, so we got the ricotta in there, then we're going to add the one egg and the zest of one lemon, okay? And we are going to mix this up. And while that's mixing, we are going to mix the other ingredients. So we're gonna lock that in. Okay, we'll let that mix. And now we are going to do, we have one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of vanilla. So we're gonna mix this all up together. Add a little bit of a stir. And then we are going to add it into our mixture right here. It's really an easy recipe. Just going to add it all in. Okay. And then we're just going to blend this for one or two minutes. You don't want to over blend it. And we will be right back. Okay, we're ready to put the dough onto the cookie sheet. So you want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And this is what the dough looks like. And I have lined the baking sheet with some parchment paper. And you take a nice little cookie scoop. I don't know if you have one of these, but I love this little thing. And we're just going to scoop them out like that. So cute. We scoop them all out. We've got about 22 cookies here, and the recipe calls for cooking them 14 to 16 minutes, but I cook them 12 to 13. So, you know, cook them till they're golden brown and then take them out. And we're going to then put them onto a wire rack and cool them completely. And once they're cooled, we're going to make a lemon glaze. So, we'll be right back. The cookies are done, they came out lovely. They are very light golden brown. Maybe a little bit tough to figure that out when they're cooking. But what you could do is, um, you know, open up the oven door and take a little spatula and you could just check the bottom. So, you know, you don't want them to be too, too dark. So that's nice. Okay, and now we're going to make the lemon glaze. As you can see, to help with the mess, I put them on a wire rack to cool completely on a baking sheet and there's like parchment paper. So when you do the glaze, it keeps everything, not so much cleanup to do. So all we're gonna use is a one cup of confectioner sugar and we're gonna start with the juice of a lemon. And I'm gonna start with half of this. So we're just gonna pour it in, you know, maybe half of that. And we're just gonna start stirring like that. I think it needs a little bit more, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. And if you don't like lemon, you could add milk or water. 
And you know, you want you can get the consistency of the glaze if you like it runny, if you like it thick, you can play with it. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more lemon. So this is a nice, I like it like this a little bit thick. I don't like it too, too runny, so that's nice. At least, so you can, you know, add more liquid. If you don't like it, you can add more sugar. Like I said, just like what you want, whatever you want to do. So I think that is good. And then I would take a spoon. I guess you could take the whisk, but I take a spoon and then I just drop it on like that. They're really simple and they are really have been a popular appetizer at the gallery seven receptions so once again if you decide to make them please take a pic and tag me i'd like to see them and please um, subscribe to our youtube channel if you are interested in seeing more of these recipes and seeing some of nick's framing we're hoping to open up soon we're going to change what we're doing probably for quite a while we're going to probably do appointment only and um, I don't know, I'm feeling really somber right now. I don't know if you could tell in this video, it's just um, everything that's going on in the world, everything just feels really crazy and sad. And, um, you know, I hope that this is change. I hope that something really huge is gonna happen with this movement and that things change in our society. So, Hang in there, everybody, and I will see you next week.